And the thing about doing body weight exercises is if you don't incorporate any type of high rep training, whether it be body weight training or just high repetition in the weight room, you're never gonna reach your full genetic potential. And this is because you're not increasing the nuclei and the muscle cells. So for instance, if you're only doing five by five training or just training to get stronger and you're not incorporating any type of high repetition training into your regimen, your gains are gonna really slow down. And just recently I've switched to doing some really high rep short rest time, uh, like FST7, doing tri sets and giant sets into my arm training. And I've really seen some progress. So I'll show you guys a little update where my arms are at. But definitely a full 17 inches now. And it's all because I stopped trying to just do really heavy barbell curls. And I started doing lots of high rep short rest time training. And why it's so powerful, if, in fact, if you guys never do body weight training at all, and you've only been doing weight room workouts, I guarantee you, try out this chest routine. Just throw it into uh, your workout regimen once per week. So do one chest workout in the weight room per week and do one uh, chest workout. Do this chest workout maybe on Thursday or Friday if you do chest day on Monday. And I guarantee you, you're gonna see some progress in your chest. I'm really gonna try to emphasize the upper chest in this video so you guys can look cool in a V-neck and a tank top. But the upper chest is usually really underdeveloped on most guys. So this is gonna be a high repetition, short rest time training regimen. I cannot emphasize enough how crucial it is to do short rest times with this training. So uh, enough talking, I wanna dive right into the routine and show you guys this killer chest workout. All right guys, let's fuck some shit up here. Got the extreme chest workout from the convenience of your very own home. I'm just going right here on my tile. Now, so crucial on this. We're trying to increase the nuclei in our chest, especially our upper chest with this routine. So what we wanna do here is go high rep, really short rest time, really channel yourself, get that mind-muscle connection going, and really feel the squeeze, feel the burn. So I'm only gonna rest about five seconds between uh, transitions, and I want you guys to do two total rotations of this. So here we go. So starting off, what we're gonna do here is you're gonna come down, back up here a little bit. You're gonna come down, and your hands are gonna go wide, back to in. So that is the first one, so really good. It hits kind of the center portion of your chest when your hands are inside, get the outer portion of your chest when your hands are outside. So moving on, hands right around shoulder width apart. What we're gonna do is eccentric shoulder tap. So you're gonna go down to a count of three and explode up. And the interesting thing on that one is it's almost like you're pushing off of just one hand because as you're coming up, the other hand's tapping the shoulder, so really awesome chest exercise. <laughs> I'm already tired because I never work out my chest doing body weight exercises anymore. Really need to keep that up though. <laughs> Woo! All right, here we go. Now we're gonna do chest tap. So similar to shoulder tap, but we're gonna go a little faster here, so. Try this routine, guys. I'm already tired. I've just been doing lots of weight room training with my chest and haven't done any body weight training outside of pull-ups. I am already tired. So next up, we're gonna do eccentric diamond push-ups. So remember, on the eccentric portion, we're actually gonna create more healthy micro tears. So really important that you go down nice and slow. One. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And as you can see, really trying to squeeze that upper chest. And then let me get closer to the camera here, show you guys what I'm gonna superset this with. So, what you're gonna do is think of this motion when you pull down, how it activates your pectoral muscle. Right after doing those diamond push ups, what I want you to do 
is come back here, pull down, and squeeze. Isometric hold, feeling it right here. Remember guys, this is gonna force more nuclei into the muscle cell, really activate some powerful growth. Try to hold it for 30 seconds. And uh, that is killer guys. So I'm just gonna do four, uh, show you four different push-up variations. It is really intense, especially if you shorten your rest times like I did there. So whew, just do this, uh, do this two or three total rotations and you guys are gonna get an insane chest workout. And what you wanna do with this too is write down how many reps you do of each one of these push-ups and try to challenge yourself and always improve upon that score. So similar to, I'm out of breath. <laughs> similar to like a compound exercise, like if you bench 275, you're always trying to improve upon that, um, that number. So the next time you try to hit 280, same thing with this body weight training guys. So try out this chest routine at home. Didn't want to throw too much at you. I want you to stick to the basics. And this is a killer upper chest pump right now, as you can see right now. Woo! Okay.